Hey, good morning, everyone. Just wanted to get on here real quick and share a few things. Um, as always, I'm just waiting on Jesus to come. Um, I, I really hope he's not going to take too much longer because I'm ready to get out of this place. Uh, this this world's just it's every day. Every day it's something. What's it going to be today? I don't know. But, uh, you know, between Russia and uh, Ukraine and China and it's just this crazy stuff going on in the United States now with Antifa again. Um, and now Israel, you know, getting attacked and people are getting killed over there. <sighs> it's just crazy. Um, so I just want to get on here real quick and just share a few a uh, little bit of knowledge. Uh, first, I just wanted to, to read the gospel. And if you don't know what the gospel is, it's First, first Corinthians 15. Um, pretty much that whole first part of the chapter from 1 up to um, 9. 9, 10, uh, but I'll just read a little bit here for you. Now, brothers, I want to remind you of the gospel I preach to you, which you receive and on which you have taken your stand, by which the gospel you are saved if you hold firmly to what I preach to you. Otherwise, you believe in vain. For I received, I pass on to you as of importance, the Christ, that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, that he was buried and raised on the third day, according to the scriptures, and that he appeared to Peter, and then he appeared to the twelve. After that, he appeared to more than 500 brothers at the same time, all of whom are still living, except those who have fallen asleep. And then he appeared to James, and then he appeared to the apostles, and last of all, he appeared to me. So, that's the gospel, guys. That's the good news, that Jesus died for you, and he was buried, and he rose three days later. And through faith, through faith, we are saved. If you have faith that he died for your sins, your future, your past, and your present sins, that's it. That's all you need to do. Believe it with your heart. Speak it with your mouth. Um, and that's the gospel. 1 Corinthians 15, um, 1 through 9. So just in case you don't know what the gospel is, now you do. Um, <clears throat> a couple other things I want to go over with you. Um, in Galatians, Galatians 5, uh, 16, or actually it's 19 through, through 21, um, and it's the acts of sinfulness. So this is exactly, you know, what you're trying to avoid doing. I mean, it's, it's really hard to avoid all this all the time, but you know, that's why we're sinful creatures because we can't avoid it. Um, and there are 15 of them. I got them all written down here, so I'll read them here for you. Number one, sexual moral and immorality. I think we kind of all understand what that is, but you know, premarital sex, lustful thoughts, you know, homosexuality, um, pedophiles, that kind of stuff. Sexual morality, um, impurity is something that's spoiled by a sin or a sinful nature. Um, debauchery. <clears throat> Bodily pleasures, especially sexual pleasures. Um, idolatry is the worship of any sort of idol or something other than God. Uh, we're all, you know, pretty, pretty guilty of this. I know I am. I mean, I, I play video games more than I read my Bible for sure. But um, you know, I'm trying to work on that. Um, witchcraft. Um, you know, it's just using um, dark magic or spiritual magic. Or uh, paganism, tradition, and hard drugs can even be a form of witchcraft, you know, like LSD and, and shrooms and all that that make you see different things. Um, I mean, it's, it's witchcraft of the mind. Um, hatred, extreme dislike or disgust. Um, you know, we're all, all definitely guilty of that one. You know, I think that's probably one of the hardest ones. Um, to cause discord. So if you don't know what that means, it's to say or... or or do something that will cause, you know, chaos between people, or chaos between you and someone else to cause discord. Um, jealousy, it's kind of, you know, speaks for itself. But are you, are you jealous of, you know, your boyfriend or girlfriend? You know, are you jealous that they're talking to someone else, or, or are you jealous that, you know, maybe something else is happening? That that is that's jealousy. Um, fits of rage, you know, anger, wrath, fury. Um, you know, even if you don't express it, bottle up inside. Like that can be, you know, one of these sinful natures. Uh, Self-ambition. That's a good one. 
how how do you appraise yourself other others or you know do you hold yourself to a higher standard do you hold yourself do you look down on other people with disgust because you think you're better than them well, I'll tell you you're not we're all the same we're all people we're all sinful <clears throat> dissensions strong or disagreement or contentions or discord envy sin of jealousy over blessings or achievements of others. You know, are you envious of people? You know, are you jealous of people? Uh, drunkenness, you know, that one kind of speaks for itself. You know, are, are you constantly intoxicated? Are you inebriated? Are you in a state of which you're overwhelmed with something? Um, or overpowered with spiritual liquors? Yeah. And then 15 is orgies. So... <laughs> We all know what that one's large sexual gatherings uh, with one or more sexual partners. Uh, I mean, it, it can mean other things too, but that's kind of what I see to it. Um, so with these 15 sinful natures, you also have the fruits of the spirits, which all this are found in Galatians chapter 5, um, 16 through 26. And the fruits of the spirit are love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. If you give your life to Jesus, the Spirit will come inside you, and the Spirit will fill you with these things. It might not happen right away. You know, it might take a while for it to happen, but over time, you will get these things, and you'll be have peace. It, we're, we're, we're running out of time, guys. We're running out of time. Jesus is coming soon. He's coming back. He's coming to take his elect. Don't be left here because it's going to be bad. I love you all. Please pray for each other. If you have any prayers, put them down in the comments. Uh, like and subscribe to this video and to this channel. I'm trying to get to 500 subscribers so I can start posting things because I can't post any videos or, or not videos, but pictures or stuff like that until I have 500 subscribers for some reason. So, um, like, subscribe. If you like, it gets it out there. Um, but, uh, God bless you guys. Have a good week and I'll, I'll talk to you later until next time.